In this video, we will talk about a very interesting command in Splunk called make results. Now, if you are following my videos, maybe you have would have seen many times using this particular command. So I thought like I will create an, one video on this one because this is very much helpful on my day to day jobs. First, let me show you how this particular command works. Then maybe I will tell you the usefulness of this particular command. Now, make results is a report generating command that means it basically generates the data from different indexers or search peers without any transformation okay now if i just open a search window and just run the make results command okay so i'll just try to run the make results so this is the only the command name itself is the only required one for this particular command there are certain inputs as well which we'll discuss now if you see it only generates a field called underscore time and with the current time as the underscore time value okay now if you have noticed over here it it creates a field called underscore time something like which present in our events as well right now this particular data whatever it generates it is not an indexed data it basically generates in the server memory and temporary wise now as you can see over here by default it generates a single result over here correct and with the field value called underscore time now there are two inputs of this make result one is the count so if i just mention count equals to five so it will generate five rows and if you see for each and every row the underscore time value is same which is the current time and there is another input called annotate so it, it it can take either true or false value so if i just mention it as true so apart from this underscore time it will also generate other fields like the underscore raw host source source type splunk server and the splunk server group so if you see like these are all the fields which are available for by default available for our any event right so basically it it has the capability of generating some events over here if you see it correct which can be helpful in helpful in different ways like let's say if you want to test some regular expression on a particular raw event so you can create that raw event value and then accordingly you can write your regular expression and test it out correct or if you want to generate some data which you, you want to use it in a sub search that also you can do it okay we will see some certain examples as well today but before that let us try to understand how this particular command works then maybe we will see some use cases over there now if you see like when i mention annotate equals to true so all the all the fields like the underscore raw host source source type are by default generated as none or null values right except the splunk server which is basically the local server names because currently i'm using a standalone splunk so that's why it is basically taking my laptop name as a splunk server name correct so if you are using splunk cluster in, in a, a splunk in a cluster environment there one trick is there maybe i will show you after this one so there it will correspondingly by default because i did not mention any other inputs over here so the by default the current search head name will be it will picked up as a splunk server okay so there is another input called splunk server as well splunk server and splunk server group over here you can give the list of servers name from where you want to generate this events basically you want to generate this event now here is one one trick is like if i just say server one because i am not using a clustered environment over here right so my my laptop name is msi so that's why that it was by default picked up the msi as a splunk server name but if i give the server one what will be happening it will not generate any event over here because there is no server with this server name okay so that's the concept behind this splunk server and let me go back over here i just remove this one i'll okay now here you can give lot of server names as a comma separated like you, how many server names you want so server to something like that one now one trick is like so this this two are target splunk server name correct server one and server two 
and you have given the count equals to 5. Now what will be happening as I said this particular input is basically trying to generate that data from these two servers that means it will generate total 10 events from server 1 5 events from server 2 5 events over here okay that thing we need to keep in mind even in this particular column server 1 and server 2 will also show up against those events which it generated over here okay similar concept applied for the Splunk server group as well. and by default this Splunk server value is local so if I am not giving anything over there it takes the value of local over here as you can see it, it, it does the same job over here okay so these are all input wise these things we can provide to this make results command now let us try to see some use cases over here so that we can get an idea like which scenarios we need we can use this make results command now i will just remove this two because we do not anyway need them so we will we will try to work with make results count equals to five as we have seen it before like by default it generates the value of underscore time with the current data current date and time over here now now if you see sometimes it may happen that you want to use eval as a first statement or first command to run in your search it may happen that right so let's say i want to i want to generate i want to basically generate some dummy events for my data in that case we can use the make result command with eval uh, to achieve that so let's say I can use something like this one make results as it is a reporting report generating command it needs to be the first command in the search then if you see it I can use eval something like some field equals to some value so what will be happening it will be creating this particular field called sum underscore field with this particular values over here okay now if you see it over here like as eval works like it basically if I just don't give any condition over here so and just write eval some field name equals to some value over here so it will basically create those that particular field with that particular value for all the events right now maybe you can you want to override this behavior and try to generate some other data so something like this one let's say uh, for each and every even number of rows i want something some other values and for odd number of rows i just wanted to keep this value itself okay so you can do something like this one and maybe if you are following my videos i used to do many many times this particular command called stream stats we already discussed that one right stream stats stream stats S -T -A -T -S. stream stats now if i just for now if i just remove the eval i will show you why i used stream stats so stream stats count so what will be happening is because we have five rows over here so we will be generating a counter called one two three four five over here that is how stream stats works over here right now if you see i have a counter basically the row number for each and every row over here now i can do a lot of stuff i can just create the same eval over here okay with a little bit tweaking so if i just say if count so if count percentage 2 that means that is the remainder when we will be dividing this value of the count with 2 okay if it is double equals to 0 that means it is divisible by 2 we want to keep as some value or we want to just keep it as some other value some other value so this type of thing also we can do it over here and if you see like basically now we are generating separate separate values for each and every row and based on these things you can do, write any kind of if condition over here to generate the events or basically the data which you want to uh, generate as per your need okay even this this is also possible right play around with this underscore time value so if i just say if l if l underscore time is equals to underscore time minus 
count star 86400 what what we are doing it basically we are subtracting that many days from this underscore time okay so if you see it now like this underscore times are basically like one day apart because from this guy we are basically re uh, removing one day from this guy we are previously it was same values everywhere right so we are just receiving one two three four five days something like that so that's why all these underscore time values are now one day apart over here even if you want to do it with which uh, if you want to create this underscore time values which are hourly separated that is also you can do you just need to play around with this particular second value over here right or another use case could be let's say i want to test some regular expression on a particular event okay so i will just do something like count equals to one then eval i will let's say i will generate that particular text okay so let's say some ip address 10 dot 22.33.44 okay and i want to test some kind of regular expression let's say rex in this case field it will be under field it will be text we have seen in the rex command video itself how to use this particular rex command and then the regular expression right like something like d then two times then colon backslash d i'm just giving you a very very simple example over here and then colon backslash d two times and then colon backslash d two times over here okay so this this will match probably this one so let's say i have some other other string as well over here so i will just give dot plus then i'll have backslash s plus then i have this particular string of this of this numbers which i can i can just want to create a field called let's say ip so this is how we create a named group right ip over here so i can do something like this one over here sorry this 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 needs to be dot but i think you got you got the idea like how what i am talking about so i i do generally a lot of times like to test something i can use i i generally use this make results command which is very handy over here okay now let let us try to see a more complex example something like this one let's say we have index equals to underscore internal let's go back to our internal index and source type called scheduler which basically uh, generates basically saves the scheduler logs over here in the internal index correct now let's say if you see it over here there is a field called scheduled underscore time which is basically holds the epoch value of different uh, schedules right now i can write something like this one so let's say schedule underscore time schedule underscore time is less than now i can do this one as well or greater than now whatever it is right so i will i will get some events over here now it may happen that i want to create i uh, basically i want to get those data where the schedule underscore time is less than the one minute of current time okay now now i can i can use the relative time relative underscore time function we have seen that now right comma minus m so this will basically give me a time one minute before the current time right now i can use this kind of expression to generate the time basically the epoch time which is one minute before the current time the now right but i cannot use relative time in this kind of expression because relative time is a can be used with the eval right so if i just run this one now so it it will not generate anything over here because it itself does not know how to run this relative time as a part of this particular expression correct so in this scenario what we can do is there are a lot of ways to solve this particular problem but let me try to show you how we can use the make results with a sub search to achieve this so i can do something like this one i can create a sub search which will basically return me that particular value relative time value but as in the sub search i need to give a proper search 
I just wanted to generate a time value over here, correct, which is one minute before the current time. So in this kind of scenario, I can use make results. So I can use make results, make results. Then I will be using eval underscore time or let's say it is equals to relative time of now and minus m. So this if you if I just run it in a separate search window, we will get an idea. So as make results do not have any input, it will generate a single row and it will generate two fields called underscore time by default and the it field which is basically holding that epoch value of this guy from now and minus m right. Now if I can just return this particular value of the it field we are done correct. So we already saw a command called return which can be used in a serve search right so dollar it this is how we return a value some value from the serve search to the outer search over here right so this will become my expression now so we have used the make results command as a part of the serve search because serve search itself is a proper search and we can use the make results to start the search over here as well because it's a generating command over here correct so now it will give me those events which are less than one minute from the current time and where the schedule time is that particular less than that current time minus one minute over here okay so this could be one of the use cases as well for the make results command over here so hopefully you got a fair idea about what make result command is and how we can use it to achieve different stuff over here okay so in future videos we'll talk more about some other commands in splunk as well see you in next video